This video is a quick follow-up to a video I posted yesterday about making your Arduino code smaller and faster by directly writing to registers instead of using Arduino commands like pin mode and digital write. You can find that original video linked in the description below this one, but the gist of it is that you can make your code about five times smaller and about five times faster using this direct register writing method as opposed to the Arduino libraries in certain cases like this example of blinking the onboard LED. Now, as several people on both Reddit and YouTube were quick to point out, I glossed over something important in that video. I did not use masking in this code over on the right. So these lines of code are writing to every bit in an 8-bit register. These registers each control 8 pins on the Arduino. So that is unnecessary if you only need to toggle one pin to blink a single LED. And if you have multiple LEDs or other outputs connected, this will actually cause problems because you will be unintentionally overwriting the other pins when you only intend to change one. So the proper way to do that is with something called masking or bitwise operators where you can just overwrite one bit in the register at a time and leave the other bits unchanged. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but I have another tutorial video that explains how you can do it, which again, you can find linked in the description below this one. As you can see, that doesn't really save you much more memory. That only got the code down to 176 bytes as opposed to 178. But again, this is required, for example, if you want to do something like blink two LEDs out of sync. Now, I intentionally skipped over that in this video because masking is not usually something I teach right off the bat when introducing students to Arduino. I find that students coming from a programming background in another language like MATLAB or Python are usually not familiar with bitwise operators, so that's a little too much to learn all at once. So I typically start out with this example where you're just blinking a single LED and can get away with it because you don't really care but then you go on to do something like try to blink a second LED out of sync with the first one, and you realize that this code creates problems because you are overwriting the entire register, so you'll accidentally turn one LED off when you don't want to. That then gives you a motivation to introduce masking. This might be a little more obvious if you have more of a computer science or electrical engineering background and you were already familiar with bitwise operators, then it might have seemed odd that I skipped this. Now, on the Reddit thread where I posted the original video, there was some healthy and thankfully for Reddit, quite civil debate as to when and whether you would actually want to program like this. For example, somebody pointed out that if you're running out of memory on an Arduino Uno, you're probably better off just spending a couple more bucks on a more powerful microcontroller. And somebody countered that that's probably true for simple projects, but for example, there are a lot of advanced libraries and third-party libraries that can wind up conflicting with each other, so you might need to wind up using registers anyway to accomplish what you actually want to do. Another user pointed out that it is important to note that the code will not work on other Arduino boards like the ESP32, so the register names are unique to specific microcontrollers, so you can't just copy and paste code from one to another. Then somebody pointed out that it's still worth learning if you're trying to get into electrical engineering or embedded systems. So again, plenty of different opinions as to maybe not even whether this is worth doing. I think everyone kind of universally agrees that if all you're doing is blinking an LED, then there's really no reason to do this over here on the right. But even if it's not practical for your project, it could be a skill just worth learning so you kind of have a better understanding of what is going on under the hood in an Arduino program. So with that, thank you to everyone who commented on the first video. Note that I am originally a mechanical engineer by training, so there are definitely people out there watching this who know more about it than I do. So if you have additional feedback or clarifications that you think would be useful to other people watching this video, please go ahead and leave a comment below the video on YouTube or in the thread where I'll post it on Reddit. Thank you.